an old friend. Six, seven, eight, nine. No, 11, here I'll be found 12, right away. 13, 14, 15, this won't work either. 17, 17, oh, so where should I hide? 19, 20, 23, 24, 25, and I'm done counting. Ready or not, here I come! All right. Leo, here I come! Wow, this is a sweet hiding spot. Tiggle have to look for me till nightfall. to somebody. Well, you know, the nest is empty. And if it's empty, it means it's abandoned. <laughs> Leo, Tig, Mop is waiting. Yeah, we're coming. Just a second. Tig, let's just put it away now and come back later for more riding. All right. Push it this way. You don't hurry. I'm going to leave without you. <sighs> Mila, wait for us. Okay, so today I'm going to tell you quite an amazing story. Hey ho! Hey ho! Hey ho! When the wind above the sea waves, when the wind above the sea waves, when the wind above the sea waves starts to storm and rage, we will scare it off with shouts. Mappa, who's that flying over there? The crows? <laughs> You're a crow, Mila. <laughs> they are eagles. Easy, easy, children. <laughs> Don't fight. Those are storks. They are coming back to their nests after the winter. Hey ho! Hey ho! Hey ho! We're going home, my friend. <laughs> it's so wonderful to see an old friend when you come back home. And who is that? Children, I want you to meet Theodore. An old friend of mine, a stork. Mr. Theodore, was it a difficult journey? Well, as they say in the far land of China, the journey to your family nest begins with a single wing stroke. You know what, children? I'm going to tell you the story of the stork. Oh, wow. I'd be happy to hear that, too. All right, then. Once upon a time, there lived a stork. Was he all alone? Yes, all alone. All by his lonesome in his giant nest. But then the stork decided to find himself a girlfriend. One day, high in the sky, right under the clouds, he saw a beautiful lady. Only it turned out that this beautiful lady is the daughter of the strongest wind who didn't want to share her with anyone. The wind came down, ooh, and pulled the stork's nest apart. But the stork wasn't about to give up. He built a new nest, much stronger than the previous one. And that's when the wind realized that the stork is a worthy fiance for his daughter, persistent, and courageous. Ever since that time, storks come back to their nests every year, and the families they build last for their entire lives. Mr. Theodore, do you also have a girlfriend? Well, a stork with a nest has everything. 
You know what? Come visit me. It's close on the top of that hill. Tig, I have a bad feeling that the nest we found might have an owner after all. Really? And who is he? The nest is gone. Well, what do you mean, gone? Completely gone! Maybe the wind blew it away. No wind could do that! It was the sturdiest nest in the entire taiga! Oh, no, no, no. My Theodora's gonna be here any minute. Oh, you haven't seen her angry. That's it. It's all over. Don't you worry, sir. We'll help you. Leo and I will find it in no time. Let's go, Tig. Leo, where's the nest? How should I know? It used to be here. Weird. It couldn't have just disappeared, could it? Stop. <laughs> Do you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome! <laughs> Did you see the shorty fly out? <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's push it up. Come on, hurry up. Push, push. <laughs> come on, let's go. Hey, you. Give us back our nest. Your nest? <laughs> hey, Martins, did you hear that? Oh, yeah. The spotty and the stripey make nests now. <laughs> I can't even believe it. It's not yours or ours, but the nest does have an owner. Give it back. <laughs> right, first catch us if you can. <laughs> We're asking nicely. Give it back. <laughs> <laughs> Tig, we're in so much trouble. Oh, no, no, no. Is this all that's left of my nest? No, no, no. Children, you should be ashamed. We didn't throw it down from the tree. They did. That's right. They did. <laughs> That's a great way to put it. Mappa, we were just playing hide and seek and then it fell down. I didn't mean to. And then we just thought that it had no owner. We are very sorry. Yeah. We're very sorry. Please forgive us. Wise men would say that there can only be a wrong path, but never a hopeless situation. But this is the end. Ah, <laughs> oh, children, children. Mappa Pantiga, we're going to fix everything. Oh, listen, guys. I've got an idea. Leo, is this one nest material? For the roof? Sure. And these? Just perfect. Put them there. Okay. Right. Mike, let the spotty and the stripey do the work. That's right. What are we here for? Stop asking and start collecting. All right. A little more. Okay, and one more. Good. Mila, you need to stop. It's already pretty. Tig, call him. Okay. Mm. Oh. Mr. Storm, mm -hmm. it's done. Come and have a look. <laughs> the creeks bring more light. And following spring, I also came back. It's such a surprise. Hmm. <laughs> well then, 
Want a race? The first one to that bush wins! Come on! Going on the count of three. One, two, three! 